This is the Come A Girl Daily Podcast, written by Stephanie Bond. December 2nd, Friday. Her eyes look greener, my mom said, leaning over me. She would die if she knew how unflattering her face looks at this angle. Her eyes look the same as always. Dad is also leaning over me, still on crutches. He's aged in the six months since I've seen him. Mom squinted. Are you sure? Yes, Carrie. She has my sister's eyes. Not unless his sister is related to the man my mother begat me with, but I'm staying out of this. My mother cast a worried glance at my father, then back to me. Marigold, can you hear us? I blink twice. Is twice yes or no? She asked Dad. Twice is yes. She wouldn't have blinked at all if she couldn't hear you. Maybe she read my lips. Marigold, she said, exaggerating her mouth movements like a mime. Do you know who we are? I blink once. My mother gasped. Ha, just playing with you, Mom. I blink twice. There. She does know who we are, my dad said, sounding relieved. Do you know where you are, sweetheart? I blink twice. Yes? Good. I mean, not good that you're in the hospital, but good that you know what's going on. He cleared his throat. You're probably wondering how you got here. Do we really need to go into that now? My mother asked. She deserves to know, Carrie. I suppose you're right, she conceded. Marigold, you and Sydney were in a car accident, Memorial Day weekend, and you received a head injury. Another car was involved, a Falcons football player named Keith Young. His Jaguar hit your escort head on, Dad said. It's totaled, he added as a sorrowful afterthought. And apparently, Sydney was driving. That's what she said just before you woke up, Mom rushed to say. But she was so upset, frankly, we're still not sure which one of you was driving. Carrie, my dad said sternly. The detective found Sydney's DNA on the airbag. Ah, so Jack Terry had been on to my sister and hadn't needed the garbled message Aunt Winnie had passed to him. As if it even matters who was driving, my mother said with a wave. You know it does matter, Dad said lightly. But Keith Young was driving drunk. Not according to his blood alcohol test. Whose side are you on, Robert? What if that tipster was right and that lab was paid off to say he wasn't drunk? The fact that Sidney lied about what happened and now all this mess with David Spooner embezzling from the foundation? None of it looks good. I never trusted that man. He took advantage of Sidney. And Marigold... Dad added, when they find him, I'm going to kill him. You're not going to kill him, Robert. That would be murder. Then I'm going to make him wish he was dead. That I will support, Mom said. I'll hold him down while you beat him to a pulp with your crutch. And then they kissed. Kissed? On the lips and everything. It was just a peck, but was the first gesture of affection between them I'd witnessed in... Wait, it was the first gesture of affection between them I'd witnessed, period. Sydney is busy, um, sorting things out, my mom said vaguely, but she'll come to visit soon. And Alex had to go back to Afghanistan, but he's ecstatic you're awake. He said his entire unit celebrated... I'm so glad. Alex had said such touching things when he'd visited at Thanksgiving. But there's something else we have to tell you, my mother said primly. Somehow or another, Marigold. 
you became pregnant somehow or another and there's a young man hanging around who says he's the father my dad said in a suspicious tone a duncan weaver wheeler dear whatever anyway marigold do you understand you're gonna have a baby mom asked i blink twice and is this duncan person the father dad asked i blink twice they looked pained for a few seconds as if they were picturing me and duncan procreating mom sighed it'll be a stocky child what beloved my dad said warmly yes my mom said and they kissed again who are these people and will they please adopt me hello this is stephanie bond author of the coma girl daily podcast you can give the gift of podcasting to a friend by showing them how to find an interesting podcast and how to subscribe i hope you will consider sharing coma girl with someone you think would enjoy the story Thanks so much for your support and come back tomorrow for another episode of Coma Girl.